Do you have your facts straight about where your watershed is located? Everyone in the world lives in a watershed. You live in the Lower Trent watershed. The Trent River system drains more than 12,000 square kilometers of central Ontario. The Trent River has its headwaters in Algonquin Park. The Lower Trent watershed region includes the lower portion of the Trent River watershed downstream of Rice Lake. It covers 2,121 square kilometers. The watershed includes the Trent River and its tributaries like Mill, Broaden, and Cold Creeks. Groundwater provides about 70% of the water, with the remainder coming from runoff from precipitation like rain and snow. All the water that is collected in the watershed flows to the Bay of Quinte and Lake Ontario through the Trent River in nearby smaller streams. Did you know the Trent River system is twice the area of Prince Edward Island, or 8 million hockey rinks? Our relationship with the Trent River stretches back thousands of years, from native people who used the river as an ancient canoe highway, fur traders and lumbermen who relied on it as a commercial transportation corridor, to today, where recreational boaters travel the river daily. But remember, a watershed is more than just the water around us. It's also the air we breathe and the places we live, work and play. We also share it with the wildlife, birds and plants. I'm going to leave you with something to think about. Water consumption is one way we impact our watershed. How much water do you think North Americans use in one day per person? About 330 liters or 87 gallons per person a day. That's 2.7 times more than people in Germany and almost 30 times more than people in Africa. That's an incredible difference. Doesn't it make you wonder what we could be doing better? The more we learn, the better we understand, the more we can help. <laughs>